this video, we are going to explain how to use the delta portion of volume. Delta is a first order Greek that tells you a lot of things. The pure definition using the Black-Scholes model is that it is the impact on your options price with every one point increase in the underlying. So if you have an SPX call that is 30 delta, 0 0.30 delta, a one point advance in SPX will increase your options value by 30 cents. Calls have positive delta and puts have negative delta. Since deltas are measured as the effect of your options price by an increase of one point in the underlying, a negative delta means your position loses value if the market goes up. Another rule of thumb for delta is that it represents the chance that the option closes in the money. So a 30 delta call would be a 30% chance that the market will be above your call strike. But that is only rule of thumb. That is not a definition according to the model. However, its real application for our purposes is that it represents the number of shares of the underlying required to hedge an options position. For example, assuming an option is worth 100 shares of the underlying, which is a typical scenario, a 40 delta call will require shorting 40 shares of the underlying to fully hedge the position. Deltas of options change due to multiple factors, including movement of the underlying itself, which is called gamma, movements and implied volatility, called VANA, or the reduction of days until expiration, called CHARM. Listen to those webinars for more details on their impacts. As a reminder, Voland is showing the dealer's aggregate deltas. That means the customer deltas are the inverse position. If you see positive deltas on the puts section of Voland, as so, It gives a positive delta position to dealers, which is hedged by selling that number of shares. In Voland, we convert all deltas into notional value, seen here on the y-axis. A notional value is the value of the underlying contract. This is a standard practice that helps put all Greeks on equal terms and helps with cross-asset hedging and allocation. Also, as a reminder, if we were to look at one strike, on different time frames, the less days until expiration there are, the lower the delta is for that strike. This makes sense because there is less time for the market to reach the target strike when there are fewer days until expiration. Finally, at the end of every day, dealers must reduce their delta risk to zero. Voland updates daily, so by the time it registers in Voland, dealers have likely already hedged the entire Delta position seen on the site. Delta does get recalculated every day, so the changes seen in Delta from one day to another would represent the amount of total hedging completed by dealers over the course of that day based on this assumption. So now let's dig into a Voland Delta positioning chart. For this case, we're going to look at Tesla. Using the Delta chart, we can ascertain how customers are positioned in the option market for Tesla. At the time of recording, Tesla is trading at around $191 and is near 52 week lows. First, we look at the exposure chart here. And we notice we see a very large positive Delta at the 300 strike right here. Further investigation reveals that these are puts. As you can see, calls do not have anything at the 300, while puts have this large spike. It would be helpful to also know what expiration these puts are. In order to find that out, I will deselect all of the expirations and keep selecting them until I see that large spike at 300. As you can see, it appears that that 300 strike of very, very positive delta was at January 20th, 2023 expiration. So a customer likely bought a massive hedge for Tesla through January. 
Was it a party to Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter? Was it Elon himself guaranteeing a level of income despite Tesla's drop? I do not know for sure, I'm just speculating. But what we do know is that this 300 strike is very one-sided, positive deltas through puts. This also exposes the danger in relying on open interest to determine dealer positioning. Right now, the 200 strike open interest is 65K and the 300 strike is 79K. You would never know based on that statistic how heavily weighted the customer hedging is on the 300 strike and how even the 200 strike is on Tesla. But I digress, this is very interesting data because in the money puts are very bullish magnets due to charm, vanna, and gamma forces. Another use for the Delta charts is to see the impact of an option's expiration date. The closest options to expiration for Tesla today is on November 11th. The total Delta notional is a little under 1 billion, 1.1 billion negative. This means dealers are long 1.1 billion Tesla shares in notional value. And between now and November 11th, dealers will have to sell that in notional, either through other option positions, natural decay through Vanna, Gamma, and Charm, or the outright equity sales. The impact of that can be measured through the equity notional value on the summary page. The general rule of thumb is that trading 1% of the equity notional can move the stock. Thank you for watching this video and may Valen help you find success in your trading ventures.